All right, this is a 2013 Harley Davidson 883 iron. Just spent a few hours and put forward controls on the bike. We moved from a mid stance to a forward stance. The project took only a few hours with minimal experience. And I'd like to just go through the steps that I took to do, uh, to do the project. First, a few of the tools that we used, a couple needle nose pliers, some screwdrivers. Make sure you have a good set of snap ring pliers, a couple open-ended wrenches, 3 8 socket with some extensions, and the Allen bits for that. Use Loctite when you're putting on the new parts. It's always good to have a rubber mallet handy. And the heat gun. The heat gun you'll use in case you have uh, bolts that are on with Loctite. And I'll show you which ones that I used the heat gun on. So the first step is to remove the front exhaust. You need to remove the heat shield first. Pretty simple, three C clamps around the front, and then you'll pull the exhaust off. There are also two bolts underneath that you'll remove as well. Those are all fairly simple. Mid controls were mounted there. Those bolts were removed fairly easily. The challenge I had with removing this side was back here in the brake linkage and it's hard to see from here. This is what the stock piece looks like. The linkage is here. This bolt is on with Loctite. I needed to heat it with a heat gun for about 30 seconds and then remove it fairly easily from there. Okay, moving over to the left side, the clutch side. You will see here the stock mounting for the foot pig came off and the clutch assembly came off. Very simple. The forward mount is up here now. I had pre-assembled the foot control before I put it on and then put it on and made sure everything fit well. The trick with the new gear shift system is this linkage that will need to be adjusted. You need to adjust that linkage so you'll be able to shift smoothly down and up. When I first installed it, I was only able to shift up into second gear. I lengthened the linkage and then was able to shift through all five gears. Fairly simple project. Takes a few hours in the garage, but it's something most anyone can handle.